Never thought I'd be uh, shaving my own house, but here we go. This is the door for the hallway. It is a door. Now I'm covered in man glitter. What? There is like a whole reason why we did this door and why we want to make another door. Okay, what's the reason? I kind of want to know this too. Oh no! So let's get at it, y'all. Woo! How's it going, everyone? You're watching The Green Dream Project. Jim here. And Jessica. Now, if you're new to the channel, we live off-grid. We're building our own earth bag home out here in the desert. Now, previously, I did put a door into this dome, but like everything we do around here, I'm gonna tear it all down and redo the whole thing over again because that's how we do it. I just like to redo projects over and over again. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Recently, an opportunity has evolved to make a better door. So I'm gonna use that opportunity. So the nice thing about starting this whole doorway project is that we have a couple of doors that have been donated to us and just, they're just sitting. And they're just bad, uh, they've been sitting around. So with this cool opportunity, we can use one of these as our dome door. But uh, Jess is going to, I got an idea of which one we're gonna use. But Jess is going to check it out. She's going to see whether she, which one she wants to use. And we'll go from there. So you ready to check out the pile? Yeah. Let's do it. Yuvi, what's going on? Why are you barking so much? Why are you barking so much? She's camera shy. Camera shy. Oh, you can't touch it. This is her area. All areas All are her. <laughs> All areas are her area. All right, so the doors are way back there. So one of these two? Correct. Which one? Oh, that one has a key. The key one is actually the one I'm uh, thinking that we would be using because it's got a key. Why not, right? <laughs> Otherwise, they look pretty close. Oh, look. Gloves right there. Whoa. It, oh, I bet you... Do you think a bird filled that up, filled up the gloves? <laughs> Do you think a bird filled that up? Something must have, cause it's like packed in. It's trying to make a nest. Yeah, it's like a little nest in there, huh? Did you grab the key already? We're in the hallway. We are in the hallway. The hallway. And this is the door for the hallway. <laughs> it is a door. It covers the entranceway and it's got handles mm -hmm. and a lock. Hey, I had to throw this thing together with scraps and I think I did a pretty good job considering where it's at. There is like a whole reason for why we did this door and why we want to make another door. Okay, what's the reason? I kind of want to know this too. When we planned this house, we were going to build two domes and those two domes were going to be attached by a hallway and the front and back door were going to be in that hallway. And those plans have not changed yet you but, but <laughs> <laughs> that timeline kind of changed what we expected the pl timeline on this project is very different from what we had originally suspected to now yeah so this one dome that we built like the basic structure is all there we're just kind of finishing some things out with this dome uh, that took a while then we had the start of the second dome, the underground part of that. But then we had a situation where uh, it got flooded and the wall on one side of that caved in. So that has to be all redone before we can build a second dome. And who knows how long that's going to take. So now we're in a situation where we're thinking like maybe it's better to just finish this one dome and move in there 
while we're finishing the rest of the house. So we need a somewhat more permanent mm. kind of living condition for this dome. Yeah, so this door was kind of uh, with the thinking that we just needed to kind of something to kind of keep some of the rain out, keep some of the wind from getting in there, keep a lot of the pests out of there. Yeah, it, was so it was really just like a covering for the big gaping hole that was here. We were There's, thinking it, it was just going to be something quick we'd throw up there, temporary, just until we can get the rest of the house built, right? Well, it's still not a great door, but there's been some challenges for sure. I mean, originally, with this design, the whole house design, there's not going to be anything here. This will be an open space. There's not going to be a door here. Because I'll tell you, I've been spending quite a few nights inside this dome, and it does okay where it's at, but it starts to limit the space. When designing this door, I've got a lot of criticisms from people saying, why not just throw a regular door in here and frame that out? problem is even though this is very wide it's about four feet wide it's definitely wide enough for that frame but the, it gets odd because the building curves in more plus uh, you have this archway here so a regular frame isn't going to fit in this space for a regular size door so this archway makes it a bit of a challenge to put any kind of door in here. We can't bring it out anymore because otherwise the door isn't going to open very well. And you could kind of have it open on the inside, which is what I have here. But if it's too far out, it won't open right because of the, uh, because of the arch and everything like that. So I think we could put in a regular door but I'd have to put the framing so far out, it would have to come out into the dome. That would start to eat into your interior space. That might be a possibility now, but we have a better idea. So all the work that I put into this door, it's gonna be coming out and we're gonna redo the whole thing. All right, what do you think? It's a good spot for you to work at. So the opportunity for a new doorway idea kind of came about and this is kind of your idea really. And I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I don't know why I don't listen to this woman more. I'm just kidding, I do listen to this woman every chance I get because I'm, I'm smart too. I listen to her. <laughs> ah. Anyway, so I already knocked down these forms, which we were using just to kind of butt the earth bags up against. Sets there and holds the place for the whatever doorways we're putting in. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of placeholders. So we just knocked those out of there because we're not gonna need those for a, a while again. I was kind of stuck in like, just kind of pushing forward into this build. But again, who knows how long we're gonna be able to get to this. So we wanna make this as livable as possible. We're gonna start living in here. Yeah. So I just knock these things down then and, and tell them, tell them what your idea is. I'm thinking like, you know, we have doors, like regular, your standard pre-built doors that someone gave us. And I'm thinking like, how are we gonna use those? I thought maybe we could put them in the hallway or put one of them in the hallway. We have these cleats or Velcro plates built into the walls and the hallway where things can get attached. We're, uh, we had it designed for the front and back doors. The hallway is designed to hold a door frame, but uh, we're actually going to sort of have a different type of frame in there right now. Yeah. It's actually, it'll actually be the perfect spot to actually build a frame. It'll have, it'll be plenty wide so I can close it up as I need to. And then it doesn't have, I don't have that big archway that deforms the shape of the frame. So it'll be perfect. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking like, okay, well, let's say you have a door over here. You still have this big gaping hole up at the top. 
That's a good question. That's a good observation. See, you guys are smart too. But what's the answer to that? We're going to close it. We're going to close it up. See, super simple. So I'm pretty excited about uh, the way this might turn out. And I'm pretty excited to have maybe a regular working door in here. Uh, I got my things I'm going to do. Jess has her things she's going to do. And I think we're going to get this together. And it's, it's going to look amazing. So let's get at it, y'all. Woo! So right now the inclination when going into our dome, people and animals, they want to kind of come this way. And it makes sense because you got these slightly raised areas here, but that's part of the hallway, part of the door. So it just makes it a little dangerous and a little, you know, whoa. Part of what I'm going to do here for the door is just kind of make this area just a little bit more user friendly. So people are going to want to come up this way and then to our door. So this whole area is going to change right here and we'll get started with that too. But right now this is kind of precarious and this is kind of the natural inclination for people to get in there. So we want to fix that as well. <laughs> mm. I don't know if this is, is that is that what you're using to remove the paint? What about that wire wheel I suggested yesterday with the drill attachment? Maybe I'll try that. Especially with front doors, it kind of says something about your home and your personality and thing. It's, it's what people see when they come into your home, like their first impression. So mm -hmm. it's an opportunity for us to kind of put our own kind of style and personality into the home in, in this way. But uh, this would be a good opportunity to create a more permanent door, but not quite permanent. But it will be a permanent eventually when it's in, everything's in the right place. The next step. <laughs> well, today is a day Uvia Stitches comes out. It's a big day. So you can tell she's all, all excited back there. Uh, Peter's with me. He's going to help. Just in case she's a little sensitive about this. I don't know how she's going to be going back to that place where, uh, you know, they uh, spayed her. <laughs> so we'll see how this all goes. Wish us luck, y'all. All right, we're here at the spay and neuter clinic. I don't know if you, if you recognizes where we are, but uh, it might be a challenge. She always likes to bust out of the back, especially someplace new. Yuvi, you ready? You ready, girl? You remember this place? <laughs> So we're in the clinic. We got uh, she's got the muzzle on just in case, and uh, she's not happy about that. But uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so we got the stitches out. Yuvia did a really good job. I thought she might snap at them or something. We had the uh, muzzle on, but uh, I don't know if she would have done it or not. She seemed she seemed pretty calm. She was definitely part. like. It took us both to like kind of hold her down and kind of do what we need to do, but she didn't really snap or anything like that, so she did a really good job. I'm really impressed. And now we are done with this saga. We also got some shots for her, so uh, she's doing real well. Let's head back home. Let's get out of the city. <laughs> Woo! These mornings have been chilly, but this is all got to get done. Got to get started with this hallway. First things first, as I'm gonna get this hallway ready to go. Uh, we already got some, some rocks here. I'm gonna spread out some of these rocks, maybe get some bigger rock, get some more big rocks in here. And uh, that'll be the start of it. Yeah, the one thing about these big rocks here by the door is it is probably gonna be uh, <laughs> A haven for critters. If you want to keep critters out, you want to make a haven for them right next to your door. So I'm going to spread these out, just sort of create a nice base with these rocks.
as you can see i've added some rocks going around these bags right here to kind of discourage people from moving around this area as you can see i got a layer of larger rocks down here in the hallway and i feel like this will make a very good base for the ground here now i might pick up uh, a load of kind of like medium sized rocks kind of throw that in here then i'll throw gravel on the top tamp that down nice and tight and i think we'll have a nice little entryway just wants gravel i was gonna throw cob in here but just wants gravel because she's not 100 percent sure yet exactly what type of flooring she wants in so we'll put in some gravel as sort of like a placeholder and we'll go from there journey of refurbishing a door starts with the first few scrapes. How's this working out for you? Okay, um, this, this paint is probably kind of old, so like some spots it's just flaking off really easily and I can just scrape it a little with this and it comes off, but the wire wheel is pretty good for other spots. So unfortunately with the demise of our root cellar, we have a bunch of extra material. You know, it's not good that the root cellar collapsed, but I can repurpose some of that material for this next project, making a new entrance. So I won't have to buy anything for this, but when we do redo the root cellar, I'll have to get some new material for that. So those boards I just cut, they'll be going right up along the ends of the hallway. As you can see, we placed a bunch of cleats to get ready for putting in a doorway or whatever we want to put in here. And we will be putting in a doorway. Actually, we're going to have two doorways. This would be the front. That would be the back. But now we're just going to have one doorway for now. So I'm going to put that doorway going right across here. Take out this uh, other OSB panel here. Perfect. It's oh, pretty wild. First up, I'm gonna get a couple of these boards attached. I'm actually pretty surprised at how plumb these walls are, considering they're just bags of dirt that we slammed against some boards. I found out though that uh, just uh, like two and a half inch screws aren't gonna cut it in getting the screws from the uh, board all the way into the cleats here. Uh, the bags just stick out a little too much, so I'm going to be using these kind of heavy-duty uh, timber lock screws to get them all the way in. The nice thing about using this old wood from the previous build is we've already used the Shosugi Bond technique. It's already been burned, brushed, and oiled, so these things are protected and ready to go.
Now I'm gonna measure and install a board here at the base. I'm gonna put a couple of brackets on each side to fix this board to these and just kind of like connect everything together. Oh no! No! Of course. Well, you want to help. Okay, that's enough. It's enough. Go, go, go. Run. Run, run, run. Happy frosty morning to y'all. Uh, I got another couple of boards cut before the sun came up and uh, I'm gonna be attaching these right behind our, the boards up front here. And it's gonna kind of start to provide the rough opening for the new door. This board is not gonna come up flush to this board. What I'm gonna try and do is knock away some of this cob in some of these areas where uh, you know, it's just kind of sticking out a little bit and Let's see if I can't get this just a little bit closer. Oh yeah. Alrighty, that's fitting a lot better. That might work. All right, so I got this Pete two by four here that I'm gonna use as my top plate. But as you can see, it's not level. There's too much cob on this side. So again, I'm gonna have to shave this down so I can get that board a little more flush. Never thought I'd be uh, shaving my own house, but here we go. I'm gonna double up on this top plate. Give it plenty of strength. Man, you're really doing some detailed work on this door. I want to make it look nice. Well, you're really doing a good job with that. You're, it's a really beautiful paint job removal there. Thank you. Well, these are actually better than the other ones. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, those are those are nicer. These are newer, and yeah, they're a little nicer. What? Yeah, they're newer and they're a little nicer. The uh, Those other ones I had back from my old job. So, I mean, those are like years and years old. But uh, those work pretty nice for you? Yeah. Should I not talk to you while you have <laughs> those on? Now I'm covered in man glitter. <laughs> Jess, you got the man glitter on you? Uh, not too much. So you've been uh, hard at work on this door. What uh, what do you have envisioned for it? I feel like you're pretty excited about this project. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about refurbishing this old door. So I've been just working at kind of taking all the old paint off of this side of the door. You now I've been using that, the heat gun and also kind of sanding or scrubbing it off with that wire brush. And that's been working really well. And then I want to stain this side of the door and then the other side, that'll be the outside, I will paint. Very cool.
pretty much got the rough framing done. Nice. So I'm with you via here and just wanted to talk a little bit about how she's doing after having the stitches removed. She is doing amazing. Uh, I think she's feeling a lot better after going there. We got those stitches removed. She did an amazing job and she's, uh, she's really doing a lot better afterwards. We got a couple of vaccinations for her right away. The, the rabies vaccine and uh, parvo. So, uh, yeah, she's looking really good, happy, healthy, and uh, I'm just glad that ordeal's over with because it was, it was kind of intense for a bit. <laughs> Ow. But a big thanks for Peter for making that ride uh, out there with us. I don't think I could have handled this alone, so it was a big help having him out there for the ride. And uh, I know Yuvi appreciates it. Do you appreciate that? <laughs> so I got the rough framing ready to go. I'm pretty jazzed about that. It feels so different uh, with the changes I made now that you know I've made it so that it's a little bit more difficult to kind of go around the hallway. Now you kind of it's natural really to just kind of come up on the bags and I'm going to make some changes there to make that even easier. And then with the gravel and the doorway, it really has a different feel going into the dome. Man, there's no door there yet. But there's going to be a lot more changes coming up. Uh, you know, I'm going to be putting a roof over there so that once we get the door installed, there's not this big gap over your head. Uh, and then I'll take those other doors down. We can take those down. So it'll really change the space sort of outside and inside and it'll really have it a different feel yeah i think already like it feels more like like a front entrance kind of yeah a thing than before well i mean before it it felt like everything was kind of in mid construction it felt kind of weird like going in and out and it was a little awkward i think this will be It'll look nicer. It'll look a little more finished, even though it's still going to be kind of temporary, but it'll look like a front door, I think. But this will be nice until we figure out what we're doing exactly with the root cellar. Obviously, that's going to need to get rebuilt and all that, but uh, I'm really happy with this. I think this is really going to make a nice entrance to the dome. It's really going to have a nice different feel to it. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, just a couple more things to finish up there. Obviously I got to put like a little roof over the hallway and then actually put the door in place. So uh, we're going to get this situated and then, you know, of course then move on uh, from there. You know, still a lot of stuff. We're going to put some, I'm going to put some outside electrical in here eventually. And obviously we got to still cover the inside walls to make it look a little less torn up. <laughs> So, so much to do, but I'm very excited. It's coming along and I, I can't wait to see how this entrance turns out. Yep. Every step, it feels more like home. Yeah. So, all right. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next video, y'all. Bye. Bye.